Hey, Tubies, it's Miss T. Lou. How it do? Just wanted to come on um, a quick second. We can ready to go into ooh, a new decade, y'all. Not just another year. It's a new, whole new decade. So, you know, there's all these cliches about out with the old and with the new and um, losing weight resolutions, you know, those types of things. Um, you know, and that's all fine and good. And then we get into, uh, you know, a new year and by February, we're back doing the same thing. So my question to you, as well as to myself, what is going to be different? Something that is going to be um, a, pivotal, a pivotal moment in our lives. What are we going to do that's going to make it stick? You know, definitely got to have more willpower. Um, it's, it, it's really all uh, in your mindset. I know there's a few things I want to do. I definitely want to get into entrepreneurship. Um, I have been working for someone since I've been working. Since I've been 16, 17 years old, I'm, I'm over it. I'm ready to, you know, start, um, you know, focusing on that and putting my time in entrepreneurship. I got a few ideas that I'll be working on. Uh, and one of them is YouTube. You know, to be successful, I really feel like you need multiple streams of income. Um, and so I'm going to get that started. Um, and, you know, for years, I just put stuff off, put stuff, put stuff off. Oh, it's not the right time, uh, blah, blah, blah. And here I am years later and still nothing. So if I could say anything, it's like, just start, just start. Right now, it's like, you know, my videos may not be the best. Some people may think they're boring. They're not for everybody. There's an audience for everything. So it's about finding your niche. And um, I'm not a great editor, but I'm working on it. I'm building. I'm starting somewhere, you know. And, you know, I'll start learning and, and doing research and, you know, trying to make them better. But most of all, um, what's important to me is not losing myself, um, not doing, like, you know, fake pranks and that type of thing. And, you know, um, I am a grown, grown. I'm an adult. So, you know, I'm not going to be... My videos ain't going to be like um, childish. You know, I do want them to be interesting, entertaining, and I um, do have a sense of humor. So there's going to be, I'm just going to be doing a variety of videos. But with all that being said, not going to lose myself over it. Um, so if, and if I could encourage you to do anything, just start something. Figure out what your passion is, what your heart's desire. Wouldn't it be great to be able to wake up every day and do something you love and get paid for it. So I would say start there. And you know what, you know, for me to also, you know, getting closer with the Lord. So really um, building up my um, spirituality. I don't want to call it that because Christianity is a way of life um, for me. So I definitely uh, want to work on um, getting a stronger relationship with God. That's what it is, a relationship with him not really spirituality or religion, no. Uh, so I'm going to be working on that um, because once you get yourself right with God and you get focused on him, he'll make everything else happen, but you have to get your mind together. Um, there's a little thing I do um, every year is um, on New Year's Eve, I'll write down the things I want to leave in um, in the um, previous year. Like there's things I want to leave in 2019. I'm going to write those on a sheet of paper, ball them up, throw them in the trash, and leave them there, and really work on not bringing that stuff into 2020, um, whether it be certain people, whether um, it be uh, negative thinking, you know, it's just really weight loss. I'm definitely going to be working on that, even though that's a cliche, I really need to do that, not just to look good, not just to look thinner. But uh, health-wise, you know, there's a lot of um, health issues that come with being overweight. So um, I want to be here. Um, even though my boys are adults, um, I still have a daughter. Um, they still need me. I mean, I still have a, she's, she's a teen. They need me. I need to be around too for them. So I, I want to be healthy inside and look a great outside. So, you know, I'm going to be working on that. So it's just a lot of this stuff is getting your mind right and speaking. Even if you don't believe it, keep 
speaking positive things. Keep doing um, affirmations. You can do daily affirmations um, until you feel it in yourself. Um, you can be thinking an idea, think it, see it, start putting it into action. Um, and that's the main thing is putting things into a, 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 into um, action. Because you can think about something all day and be thinking about it and thinking about it. Of course, you got to have strategies and do things. But if you're just thinking about it and you're not putting no action behind it, there's nothing going to happen. It's not going to grow. Just like if you plant a seed. You don't water it. It's just in the ground. You don't, you don't do no due diligence. You don't pull the weeds out around it. It's just in there. It's not going to grow. So if you have any ideas, they're not going to grow if you don't put any effort into it. Um, just like the Lord says, faith without works is dead. So you got to put the work in and you got to believe it. You got to believe it. And even if it doesn't work out the first time you try it, you got to keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing. Eventually, it's going to work out. The Lord will give you witty ideas to um, do things um, that you want to do. So it's like even if you can't, because, you know, there's a lot of people who like to plan from A all the way to Z. Well, sometimes it don't work out like that. You can't all the way see all the way to Z at the moment, but you start at A and then you do a little more and you get to B. You do a little more and you get to C. You do a little more and then you can see D, you know, until you get all the way to Z. So sometimes it's not necessarily going in blind, but it's just really a faith walk in anything we do. It's a faith walk. And if you just don't do anything, and you just um, cautious and, and fear, you know, fear paralyzes you from doing a lot of things, a lot of things. So don't let fear paralyze you. Just start something. Just do it. Even if you don't got it all together, just start. Just start planting your seed, water it a little bit, do a little research, pull the weeds out, and you'll start seeing it grow. And then a year from now, you'll be like, wow, I'm so glad that I went on and um, just started because a whole year of doing something and keep pushing and being consistent, it's going to grow. It has to grow. And then especially when you throw God in there and you praying, Lord, help me to see this. I, you know, give me more faith. You know, if you just trust God, he will take you places that you never thought you could be. There's something that you'd love to do. You know, it will turn into something above and beyond what you expected. Um, but you know, I guess I'm just saying in 2020, let's start like today. Just start something. Just start something. You can even start uh, your vision board so that you have it sitting in your bedroom or, or or your kitchen or wherever so you can see it and keep whatever. It's just like whatever you feed yourself, that's what you're going to get out of it. So if you keep and I'm not just talking about in the natural eating but now that's true too. If you just keep eating junk, then you, you're going to see the results within your body, whether it be weight gain, health issues or whatever. But if you keep feeding yourself with something, um, then you're going to see the results of that. It's like if you keep speaking negative, oh, I ain't going to do this. This ain't never going to happen for me. I'm going to always be broke. Well, guess what? You're going to always be broke because that's all you've thought of. That's all that's been in your mind. And that's all that has come out your mouth. That's exactly what it's going to be. But even if you, you know, your bank account ain't looking like you want it to look, guess what? My bank account is full of money. Bless, blessings come to me easy. I'm a money magnet, you know? And if you, you know, keep speaking those positive things, I am, I'm not going to be broke. I'm not broke right now. It's all a faith thing. You just have to believe it. But once you keep, you know, speaking all those things, thinking all those things, and then putting stuff into action, you will see a big difference. So, you know, you guys comment down below some of the things that, you know, you want to do different um, for 2020. This is a new decade, 2020. That's double portion um, double the blessings, you know, let's make it happen. You know, there's so many people out here that, um, don't have degrees and, you know, whatever. Um, and they're doing it. There's millionaires out there 
you know, just from pushing their products on social media, you know, start following some millionaires on Instagram, start trying to be around those type of people. And it's going to draw that energy um, to you. You know, if you being around people that and, and, and not trying to discredit anybody because we, you know, all trying to do our thing. But if you just keep being around that person who's doing nothing, sitting on the couch, don't don't care. You know, all that energy is going to come to you. Try and, um, you know, watch the millionaires, watch how they move, you know, on your Instagram. If you know any of them, start being around that type of energy. It'll rub off on you. You know, you won't have any choice. But the main thing, and, and you know, it's not, it's just not about money. It's about having a healthy mind. Because, you know, before you know it, your mind wanders off and you feel like you can't control your, control your thoughts and just, you know, the negative. You got to, and not saying negative is not going to come into your mind, but you got to know when it does come how to shut it off. You know, and and you do that by, you know, speaking. If you got to speak out loud, do what you got to do for your own healthy mind. And, um, you know, you just want to be healthy um, inside. You know, you don't want to be so negative. You know, it, it, it's so draining to be just a sour puss and, and even being around somebody like that. So if I was saying anything for 2020, let's just do it. Let's just start something. And all of us may not want to be um, entrepreneurs and work on on your own. You may have a job and you really like your job. Um, do something this year that's going to um, promote you to um, another position, whether it be taking up a couple classes or you know whether whatever it may be. Um, let's just start. Let's start doing something that's gonna better ourselves. Let's start doing stuff that's gonna make us happy. Um, Prep, let's prepare and let's just do it instead of thinking about it. Instead of watching other people get theirs. Let's do it. So this is the, so going into this new decade, 2020, I just have to say, let's do it. So I would say, write on a piece of paper all the things you want to leave in 2019. Bottom joints up, throw them joints in the trash and really truly leave them there. I'm not going to say it's going to happen overnight, but you get you can work at it. You can work at it. You have to work at it. You have to do something different to get different results. So that's what we need to do. And as I'm speaking to you, I'm talking to myself as well. So, let's do it. Let's get it. 2020 is ours. It's going to be what we make it. We're going to have this conversation again through the year because I'm going to be checking on y'all. But I would love to sit down this time next year and we all be doing the things that we want to do and just growing and making it bigger, bigger, bigger. And it all starts with a mindset, a mindset and watching your words. Only speak positive. Only have um, positive energy. You can look on YouTube. Um. And find, you know, different affirmations that you can um, say daily. You just make sure they're the right affirmations. You know, sometimes a lot of stuff can, the affirmations and stuff I be seeing is be a little borderline demonic. So you just have to be able to, you know, pick and choose um, and have discernment over those types of things. But um, what you want to be in life can definitely happen. There is nothing that we can't do. So let's go get it. 2020. Let's start. All of y'all gotta go. There's no place in my life anymore for y'all. I'm leaving y'all in 2019. Y'all done done enough. Now I'm done with y'all. I'm done with y'all. When y'all try to step to me, I'm going to shut you down with the power of Christ. And if y'all notice, I put not living in God's will. Because when you're not doing that, all the rest fun, all the rest of the things fall under that. Once you get that right, that's the key. Want to be about your way, whatever y'all going to do. Like I said, you step to me, I'm going to shut you down. Because I've had enough.
Bye. Peace.